Hello everyone, Manithrol here, and welcome to another Suggestion Saturday video. Uh, now today, I want to be covering something I know is potentially a controversial subject for the game of RuneScape. And while I'm doing that, of course, I'm going to be doing some research here uh, on the upcoming Dimension of Damned. Doing different little studies to find out which gear I'm going to be trying to get and get accomplished. Uh, but okay, so the Dimension of the Damned, it's a very good one. And I like the idea. I, I like the whole thing about. Oh, wait. Sorry. Wrong thing. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Anyway, back to the suggestion video. Uh, what I'm going to be suggesting today is playable races. Um, reason being behind it is because while it's okay and it's fun to play the game for what it is, uh, it'd be kind of nice, and I know there's other people out there who feel this way, uh, it'd be kind of nice to be able to um, play as a different race. You know, right now, everybody has to play as a human, and that's it. That's all you can really do. So it's just like, well, why why does it have to be just humans and humans only? Why can't it be um, different types of stuff? So what would be so bad if, you know, we could play as goblins or elves and stuff like that? I know back a long time ago, the whole... Uh, concept of this was that you were a human. This was the lore of you know how original RuneScape was. It was a human versus the gods. That was RuneScape in a nutshell. Which don't get me wrong, it's not a bad way of doing it. It's just it has changed over the years. So I just think that you know as you know the game has changed and progressed. And the lore has changed a little bit. Not completely, but it has a little bit. Now, wouldn't it be time for us to be able to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, be able to do the same thing. So, all it would be... Is that we could now play as... You know, different races. You could start up as... Um an elf or a goblin you know different things and the whole premise of you know okay we don't want unfinished business I mean Jackets already knows this but what if some of the stuff was kind of unfinished business along with it you know the release of the uh, you know different playable races because let's say you know like if they were to go and change and say that you could do this because how you start now is you start in Ashdale and you don't remember anything about your prior life to starting into the game pretty much. It's like your guys waking up from bad case amnesia, you don't really know anything. So it could be the same thing as far as you know the different races. So let's say you know you're a goblin. Goblins mainly come from the land of the goblins but then they also come from uh, you got the goblin village here. There's not a whole lot of areas for goblins. There's a few things over here. There's not too much. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Um, but mainly, the biggest like goblin area is right here in Lumbridge. It's right underground. So, I mean... There is different things with goblins. And they're kind of spread throughout. But, you know, it wouldn't be so bad to play as a goblin. You know, some people would like that. Some people would really enjoy that. And the reason why I'm saying this would be actually a good idea is because there's a lot of people out there who like games because they can play as different races. And that's why they like it. Uh, not everybody wants to make a character in their image. Some people like to go to the fantasy route and play different ways. Now, in this idea, like I was saying about, you know, how making some kind of new unfinished business... And by that, I would mean, like, you know, all the quests that would refer to somebody as a human or, you know, stuff like that. If they didn't want to go through and change all that kind of stuff right away, I think the um, the amount of good versus the amount of bad that would come from that is 
more heavy on the amount of good because there's going to be a lot more people coming in and yeah there's going to be people who would notice that but for the time being it would be okay now if one thing if they wanted to do to make it even easier yet is let's say in Solomon General Store instead of just these there's a character model uh, override and you can get the character model override so technically you're still actually uh, human is just you're appearing as an elf or goblin or whatever much like the dragonkin because you can actually pretty well make yourself a dragonkin hey right there is the duskwing so I mean if you can make yourself into these different things uh, right here you can make yourself into a revenant instead of or even a zombie um, so instead of making it that uh, you can only do by that way kind of make it so you can do it in a way where you can change the model and you can still see the gear so it still has everything that would probably be the simplest way to do it is like a cosmetic override where you know maybe they can add a new icon up here and it's just be the character model override and then, yeah, of course, there'd be a lot of gear they'd have to fit to those different models. That's why, you know, maybe start out you know, simple and start out small. Maybe make elves is the next playable character and have that is like that kind of an override. And then, you know, because they're actually very similar to the human structure. So that I don't see as being as big of a deal. And then, as time goes on, once that's all squared away and good, and if it really hits off as really good, then go into the maybe the next one. Maybe go into uh, whatever, you know, actually leave that up to, like, you know, the players, where we could have a poll of what the next one we would want to see as. Like, what the next one we would want release. You know, it could be a goblin, it could be an ogre, troll, a whole bunch of different things. Now, some of those that I just mentioned... Probably not, because ogres and trolls are kind of on the bigger side, unless they want to make like a small troll. Because by all means, they should still be somewhat close to this size. Now I know a goblin is smaller, it probably would come up to like right here. But an uh, ogre is much bigger. L let's actually go and look at an ogre here. The easiest spot I could think of offhand is Janiel. So, I mean, an ogre would be really, really big compared to, you know, the player. Or maybe, yeah, they're they're quite substantially bigger. So, let's go up this one over here. Try to get an evil, well, yeah, even footing here. So, as you can see, he's about... Boy, oh, yeah, he is substantially larger than my character. So, I mean, that... You can see the problem there. Where a goblin, yeah, you have to scale down the model a little bit. But... It's not as big of a change as going from a human to an ogre. Now, as far as, like, you know, goblins are concerned... Um, like I said, I don't think that's big of a deal. Uh, if we want to check out trolls here quick, I'll say assuming my guy stops fighting with that ogre, which actually leads me into another question: If they were to do an idea like this, what kind of races would you like to see as overrides? Now, the thing with like, let's say, Majorettes. Modrets can pretty much be anything anyway. So they don't have to be the big gigantic creatures like they kind of are. They could be a smaller, you know, version. Okay, right down here are some trolls. Trolls actually look to be a bit closer in scale than the ogres did. So I mean trolls actually wouldn't be too far off compared to 
everything else. So yeah, I mean, that's what the main target would be, is to try to allow players to mix it up. If they want to do it as a Solomon's Override, that'd be great. And I don't mean Solomon's Override as in like some of the current ones that are actually out there. Because, well, some of them are kind of neat, yes, I'll admit that. Uh, they don't quite fit with, I don't know, like how it looks or pretty much of anything. Because, like, well, right here you have this satyr. It's just a human dressed as a fairy. I mean, or the gossamer or the flourishing fairy. They don't look like, you know, those things. The scorpion, that's just the scorpion outfit. But, you know, like, you can... Oh, that's a navigator outfit. Uh, but you can see, like, different things. Like this, the revenant, it's a revenant human, basically. Um, I really wanted to show you guys. I see, like this one. That's basically your Nihil one, but it's next. But see, that would be like that could be a playable race, like an override, and you could do a little bit more customization, other than making it look just like next. I mean, different types of faces, you know, that that kind of thing. And I guess it wouldn't be so much as, like, you know, this area of an override. You see, here's the other, there's a Drake Wing. You see, here's a Mummy. There's a Deathless reg, uh, Regent. You know, so there is different models that are kind of like that. And here's supposedly the Elven one. But you can plainly see that the ears do not match up properly with the skin tones that are available in this game. So, I mean, it was a nice little attempt, but it doesn't quite fit with how, what people were actually looking for. So, that's one thing. Not to mention, you're stuck with that outfit. Where it would be kind of cool if you could, like, make a mixed breed of that with... Oh, let's say, you know, the Vestments of Sorrow, or Sorrow, or the Robes of Sorrow. You know, because these robes are actually pretty cool looking, I will say that. But... Oh, here's some more down here. Uh, but, let's say you want to make a mixture of an Assassin and... You know, the Elves. But you kind of can't do that because, well, look. You can't really do anything else because... You can't have any of the, like, the elven ears with that hood because, well, it doesn't match. But I'm sure you guys know what I'm getting at here. It's just, they have some of the stuff partially readably, well, ready for it. But it's not completely there yet. So, it'd be kind of nice to be able to, let's say, do that and wear this hat at the same time. And without, like, any major issues. Some of these outfits have the old character models in, you can still see it like this one. Which really actually speaks for how far along they have come, actually. But, yeah, so that's this week's update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about, like, different types of classes, how you guys would actually like to see. Would you like to see it as something that you could start out as? Would you like to see it start out as, like, a cosmetic override? And not like this, by, but I mean like an appearance category. You could change it this way. You know. Maybe like this is, well, that would be the head area. But, you know, being able to actually change that. Let's take off that helmet for a little bit here. You know, actually change the different facial features like you can with a regular face. So let me know how you guys would like to look at it. Of what you guys think should go about that. Uh, but as for now, that'll do it for today's videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later guys.